Michael, how many um, goals? How many goals do you think he's going to have at the end of the season? How many goals do I think he have? I, I, I think he'd like to get into break fifteen. That'd be a good thing for him. The first time, fifteen goals. That'd be a good, um, a good return for him. You know, if he gets more than that, brilliant. But fifteen goals would be uh, a good tally. But what I would, I was going to go back to say on that chance is, and it happened with a lot of these players. It seemed a lot of fatigue set in. And I thought that looked like a heavy leg player running in and, you know, tired legs, tired brains, you know, and might have called for the decision. But, you know, it was one of them things that I thought going into it and overlooking it, that maybe it was a heavy leg player, you know, maybe first five minutes striking positive, but that one looked a bit of heavy leg that might have like, had an impact on his decision. Heavy legs, Gary, or confidence? Um, well, I think there were an awful lot of tired players on the park in the latter stages of the game, full stop. And, and you know, Leeds United, when they, when they leave the park after 90-plus minutes of football, um, Bielsa expects them to have absolutely nothing left. Um, maybe he was a little bit jaded, maybe he was a little bit heavy-legged, um, but <clears throat> I still believe that top strikers tuck those away. However their feeling, um, mm. especially in tight games. Um, you know, Michael's just suggested that um, he could possibly get 15 goals this season. I think if he gets to double figures, I think if he gets to 10, I think that's a, a really good season's work for him, to be honest with you, because, you know, he's now playing in, arguably, although we're seeing lots of goals in the Premier League in the early stages this season, you know, it, it's a tough league. It's a, a difficult league. You're playing up against, you know, top defenders week in and week out. And, and as we know from his, his goal record in the, the last couple of seasons at Leeds United, it hasn't been fantastic. Do you think he's a top striker then? Me? No. Yeah. No. Um, no, I think um, he's just a little bit short. Listen, I couldn't play up the sharp end of the pitch. You know, the, the hardest place to play, in my opinion, is a striker. Um, I couldn't play there, so I have to be re really careful what I say here uh, yeah. because people will be pointing the finger at me and saying, well, you know, what do you know about scoring goals, Mr. Stevens? Well, not a lot, to be honest with you. Um, but I can sit here and say, is he as good as Aguero? No. Is he as good as, for example, back in my day, Gary Lineker used to be? No, he's not. Having said that, he could prove me wrong. I hope he does, but I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say he's a, a top striker. You know, you can put strikers in brackets. He wouldn't be a top striker. Would he get into one of the top six clubs? No. Would he get into their mid-range, a lot of them clubs? No, he wouldn't. He's a, he's a good striker, and now he has to prove himself. A good season in, in the Premier League this year could elevate him into another bracket of strikers, but... Is he a top striker in this division? Let's cut this out. Is in this Premier League, he's not a top striker in this division. You know, and and you know, in the Championship, he'd be one of the top strikers. But um, I wouldn't say in this league is he a top striker. I wouldn't put him in that bracket of top. And that's no disrespect to him. Listen, it's it's just uh, an opinion. And whether he takes that opinion on board, he might not. But we're just saying, as my opinion and Gary's opinion, what he said that he wouldn't put him in the bracket of top striker. But a good striker, yeah.